Welcome back folks. We're going to be working with scalable vector graphics today. These are .svg files. These files are very universal. You can transfer them from one program to another. Today we are going to be using Adobe Illustrator um, to vector out our um, image and then save it as an SVG and then we are going to import it into Blender which is your 3D animation program. Uh, it's a freeware, so go to blender.org. Download it if you don't have it, um, but we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to be using this sketch that I made. If you want to use one of your own sketches, that's fine. You can use basically any other image, trace that out, uh, but this is what I'll be using here today. Uh, so I'll go ahead and close this. Um, and I'm going to start with a file, new document. Uh, we'll just do letter size, so go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to do a file place. And then I'm going to find my sketch, which is sitting on my desktop, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on place. And now I want to zoom out and resize here. Make sure you hold in shift while you resize. That'll maintain your proportions. So I'll zoom in. I'm using Alt and uh, the middle mouse button scroll on the mouse to zoom. Whoops. So here we are with our sketch and illustrator here and we're going to be using the pen tool to vector this thing out so uh, let's go over to the layers panel I'm gonna actually lock the layer here um, the bottom layer and then I am going to create a new layer by uh, clicking the new layer button and then I'm gonna select my pen tool I'm going to zoom in a bit here. Uh, I'm going to take the fill off. So click on the fill, click on the none. And then uh, I'm going to make a red stroke. So I'll double click on the square here. Drag this up to red. Drag the circle up into the corner. Click OK. And it uh, doesn't really matter where you start. I'm going to start right down here. And I'm going to just start clicking and dragging around to start making our vector. So I'm going to um, just click around here. Um, most of you in the class should be well versed on Adobe Illustrator here. So that's why I'm not explaining a whole lot about how to use the pen tool. Okay, whenever you're done with that, uh, we can go ahead and hide this other layer. Uh, I'm going to go through here and actually uh, fix up a couple of my points. Uh, you do the same if you have to do so. 
at this point. Whoops. And uh, that's good enough for tutorial purpose here. Um, so now, like I said, we have to save this thing as an SVG file. So all we have to do is go up to File, and this is going to be in the Save As menu. Go ahead and click there. And you want to save the type as this first SVG file. So I'm going to click there. Um, I'm going to rename this to Clover two because I've already done this one so I'm gonna go ahead I'm just throwing this on my z desktop you want to you may want to throw this on your network drive so I'm gonna go ahead and click on save here go ahead and click on OK now that we have this saved I'm gonna go ahead and open up blender uh, I'm going to actually start a new file. Well, you can see this is one I already created uh, from the one I did earlier, uh, but we're going to be recreating this. So I'm going to do a file new, and uh, this is what you see. Uh, if you remember the basics here, uh, press five on the number pad that puts you into ortho mode um, it's always a good thing to model within ortho mode it keeps um, true projection of all the sides here uh, but we're gonna be actually deleting this cube and uh, what I'm gonna do is go to file import and then click on scalable vector graphics and then uh, just browse to wherever you have it saved. I'm going to click on my Clover 2 here. Click on Import SVG. And it may be very small, which mine is. But that's okay because it's a vector. You can scale it up and uh, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to um, hit the S key on the keyboard and then scale this up. I'm going to actually scale it up a little bit more. And now you can see the origin point is way out here. I'm going to go up to where the origin button is. I'm going to click on origin and put my geometry to the origin. It's going to throw that right back where that origin point is here. Now, um, just as a little side note here, every time you bring in a SVG file, it takes that vector path that you have and makes it into a curve. Um, so if you actually tab into here, you can see that it is a path that is in Blender, which is used to animate objects um, along a fixed area. Um, so we don't want this. So what we have to do is, I'm gonna hit tab again to go back into object mode. And uh, we have to convert this from a curve to a mesh. The way you do that is make sure your object is selected. If it's not like this, just right click it or press A. A will select, actually don't press A. A selects everything. Just right click your um, graphic here. And then I'm going to go to Object, Convert to, and Mesh from Curve. So if you click on here, um, it converts it. Um, so if you tab into edit mode or click edit mode from the menu down here, what that does, it then converts it from the path to actual um, a mesh, which a mesh is made up of uh, vertices, edges, and faces. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, we need to select every th all the vertices on here. And if you're not on vertice select or vertex select go ahead and click right here um, and then select all the vertices and then just click F on the keyboard and that fills in or gives a face to all the points here as you can see now I'm just going to rotate around here 
and then I'm going to press E on the keyboard and this extrudes up like this now we basically have the um, form of a 3D clover here um, but I want to do a couple things to uh, doctor this up a little bit so what I'm gonna do is go to a wireframe mode that's down here wireframe or hit Z Z on the keyboard will toggle toggle you back and forth um, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna kinda go to a side view here and then I'm gonna click on face select I'm gonna press A to deselect anything and then I'm gonna box select all the middle face points here and as you can see it um, picks all those faces and then in the left hand side here I'm gonna scroll down and then on shading I'm gonna click on smooth and uh, now if I uh, deselect um, go back into wireframe you can see it smooths these um, edges out here now um, what I want to do is uh, go into object mode so I'm gonna hit tab and um, I want to put some color to this so I'm gonna go over to the right panel here the properties panel and click on materials I'll add a new material uh, we'll just name this green and I'm gonna change the um, color diffuse swatch to green and then uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna hit zero on the keypad or the number pad rather and that's gonna put me into a uh, camera view but I kinda wanna angle my camera a little bit differently here so um, instead of actually staying in my camera view I'm gonna press control alt Q and what this does it gives me a quad view and then I can find my um, camera here uh, but I, a oh, good rule of thumb is to always zoom out once you get into this quad view so you can see all your um, objects. So what I'd like to do is take this camera view and bring it around more towards the front of this and kind of angle it up more. So I'm going to use these other views to do that. So in the top view here you can see I can drag it to the left. But now uh, what we want to do is rotate this around so it's looking at the clover. So I'm going to uh, click on R on the keyboard for rotate rotate this around a little bit and then I'm going to drag it back some here and I'm going to use the blue arrow here to drag this up and then over here in the right view I'm going to use R to bring it down a little bit and then I'm actually going to just drag it to the right a little bit more now I'm going to go up to render render an image see what it looks like that looks pretty good but there's a lot of shadow down here I I don't like that too much so I'm going to um, go back here and I'm going to um, actually in the front view here actually no I'm going to go up to the top view I'm going to right click the actual lamp and I'm going to um, duplicate it so press shift D and then I'm gonna move it over about here now I'm going to hit render render image again and it has brightened this up but I still see a lot of um, dark down here which I still don't like so I'm gonna duplicate this one more time and actually put another um, light right in the front here and then let's do a render image and uh, there we go we got a lit up uh, 3d clover um, and it is the week of st. Patrick's Day so happy st. Patrick's Day um, and uh, this is it uh, once we have this done we can go down to image save as image and what I'm going to do is specify a JPEG, um, go to my desktop, and then 
uh, rename this to, um, we'll say Clover 3D. And then I'll click on Save as Image. And now um, I'm going to minimize things here. Please excuse the mess of my desktop. But here's our image file that we just created. So if I open that up, there it is. And this is what you will be using to um, upload to Canvas to get a grade. Um, so uh, follow the directions on Canvas uh, to see exactly what the assignment is. But um, there you go. I hope you learned something today about um, scalable vector graphics. And um, we'll see you next time.